If you're frustrated with all the methods available on the internet for creating a new Apple ID and keep encountering errors like phone number verification or two-step verification issues, you're in the right place. Make sure to watch the video carefully and don't skip any steps. Each one is crucial to avoid running into another error. I've already skipped and fast-forwarded parts of the video to save you time. If you've tried my previous videos on creating a new iCloud account using a Windows PC, Android phone, or any Apple device running iOS 18, and you're still struggling, this solution is your final stop. Enough talk. Let's dive in. First of all, go to Settings on your iPhone running iOS 18 or higher and perform a full reset. Erase all data and content. Now we're on the Hello screen. Do not activate or skip the setup using 3U Tools or iTunes. Choose the country as USA or Canada. Saudi Arabia might also work, but I haven't tested it, so I'll continue with USA. Connect to Wi-Fi and wait for the device activation to complete. After activation, begin setting up your device. It's better to choose a passcode. I chose 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. When the setup wizard asks for a new or existing Apple ID, select Forgot Password or Don't Have an Apple ID. Then tap Create a Free Apple ID. It will take a few seconds to load. Now enter your full name and date of birth to continue. Important. You must be over 18, or ask a parent to complete the setup for you. Next, choose, I don't have an email address. Then tap, get an iCloud email address. Create a unique iCloud email address. Tap, continue, and then tap, create email address. Set a password with at least eight characters, including one uppercase letter and two numbers. Now, the most important step, choose the country as USA. Even if you are from Pakistan, Bangladesh, or any other country where Apple is not verifying phone numbers, enter a random USA phone number, tap, didn't get a verification code, then select, verify, later click, continue, and it will take you to the next step. Tap, agree to the terms, and complete the setup quickly. Do not skip the video yet. There's still more to do. I've already fast-forwarded parts to save your time. Once the setup is complete, open the Settings app. You'll see a notification to verify your phone number. Tap on it and select. Use a different number. Enter your device passcode when prompted. Now, choose your original country. And enter your personal number to verify with Apple. Even if you're in a country like Pakistan or Bangladesh, where Apple doesn't verify phone numbers during account creation, you can still receive an OTP for verification here. After verifying your number, we're not finished yet. Don't skip. Let's continue to the next step. Open Settings and tap on your iCloud account. In the Account Settings, select Sign In and Security, then choose Two-Factor Authentication. Here, you'll see both your verified number and the unknown U.S. number. Tap on the U.S. number and select Remove from Account 
Tap Remove again, then enter your device passcode to confirm. You've now successfully removed the unknown number and secured your Apple account. Next, let's set up your Apple ID for the App Store. Go back to the home screen and open the App Store. Tap Continue and complete any necessary settings. After this, go to the Apps menu, select an app, and tap the Get button. When prompted, confirm installation and enter your Apple ID password to sign in. Now it's time to review your Apple ID for the App Store. Choose your country and agree to the terms and conditions. Tap Next. When asked for a payment method, select Number. Enter your address details, street, city, postal code, and phone number. Tap Next to finish. That's it. You've successfully created and set up your new Apple ID. We've successfully created a new Apple account and activated the App Store as well. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and share. You can also support me by using the Super Thanks button or through the Buy Me a Coffee link in the description. If you're facing any errors in the App Store after entering this Apple ID on another device, make sure to watch my next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.